Brothers.com. Breaking news on the KTLA 5 News at 4. I'm Samantha Cortese. Good afternoon. I'm Carlos Salcedo. An L.A. County Sheriff's deputy has been shot but is expected to be okay. That shooting happened in West Covina and led to the search for a suspect in La Puente. Gil Levis is in Sky 5 with details. Hi, Gil. Hi, Sam and Carlos. You're looking at the uh, scene where they found the van that was uh, sus suspected used in this shooting. I can zoom into it right here. A white van with a black roof rack there. The uh, LA County Sheriff's found this vehicle very quickly after the shooting here. This is in the uh, 600 block of Mangate Avenue. The cross street is Wing Lane. Now they moved into this area. They surrounded it put up a, uh, an, an area around it, and they did a search of the property, including the RV. They did take one person into custody here, and the, it looks like the search is now over for that suspect, one in custody. But let's go to the video that we shot early on in the shooting. It was an LA County Sheriff's motor officer that was shot at the intersection of Barranca Street and Garvey Avenue. Now, fortunately for that deputy, his, uh, his bulletproof vest saved his life. It entered the bulletproof vest, but did not enter his body. He's uh, pretty sore, they were saying. He was conscious and breathing at the time. He was transported to a local hospital just to make sure he's okay. But again, uh, LA County Sheriff's made quick work of finding the van here on Mangate Avenue and made that arrest of that suspect. That's the latest overhead up in Sky 5. I'll send it back to you in the studio. Thank God for that bulletproof vest, Gil. Thank you. Now to our other top story, a deadly stabbing at a Los Angeles metro station leaves one woman dead, her attacker now in police custody. Police say the woman was stabbed as she got off a metro beeline train in Studio City early this morning. Her attacker was found less than an hour later and arrested. KTLA's Rachel Minitoff joins us live at the Universal City Studio City station with the very latest out there. Rachel. Carlos, Sam, good afternoon. This is typically a well-traveled area with commuters going to work and tourists using this line to get to Universal City attractions. But many people today are sharing their concerns about getting on a metro bus or train given the severity of this attack and others we've covered in recent weeks. A woman in her 40s or 50s riding the B-Line train around 5 Monday morning, stabbed in what seems to be a random attack. Passengers were rerouted away from Universal City during the hours-long police investigation and expressed their fear and outrage. I take Metro every day, and it's gotten worse and worse. It used to be that it was downtown only, but it's come all the way out to the valley. It makes me very scared because it's so close to my house. That's why. And it could have been me. It could be my kids. It could be uh, my neighbor. It's not right what happened over here. Immediately after the attack, the victim apparently exited the train at Universal City Station, and so did her attacker. She ultimately died from her injuries at the hospital. And about 30 minutes later, based on surveillance video and witness statements, LAPD arrested a suspect at Ventura and Vineland. Detective Megan Aguilar says they're fairly sure they've got the assailant in custody, who people describe as wearing distinctive clothing. This does appear to be completely unprovoked from what witnesses have told detectives. There was no altercation prior to this violent attack. The overwhelming response online is also one of concern. On our Facebook page, Andrea Roundtree says, unless the Metro gets more of a police presence, it will never be safe enough for me to ride. Cynthia Sweetie commented, this is one of the reasons we stopped using public transportation. The amount of crime you witness just by riding the bus or Metro is scary. Despite today's vicious stabbing, crimes on Metro are down year over year. Take a look at this. Passenger crime dropped almost 10% between February 2023 and February 2024. So did crimes. Other offenses like trespassing, narcotics, down a striking 40%. Ash Ventura rides Metro daily. A smooth ride, except for this. The tram, you can't really get out, you know, like you have to stay in there for a while. So if you were in a dangerous position, it would be difficult to extricate yourself. Yeah, definitely. The Universal City Station is now back open to commuters with a much more noticeable police presence. Detectives say they are stepping up patrols over here in light of this attack. At the moment, we are waiting to learn the name, the identity of the victim whose family is now being notified. We're live in Universal City. I'm Rachel Menatoff. Sam Carlos, back to you in the studio.